Today's uh, demonstration is to uh, add an O-ring. This O-ring right here. We're going to add it to this adjustment screw underneath this metal leaf spring. This sc uh, screw has a tendency to back out when you have proper s setting on second stage shear release. When you got a perfect, it has a tendency to back out over time because when you back out, it sits on its O-ring. So when you back it out, it no longer sits on its O-ring, so it has a tendency to back out over time. So we're going to put this O-ring underneath this adjustment screw. So let's proceed in uh, disassembling it. First, you got to remove this leaf spring. You take your uh, loosen that screw. Okay, forget to find the right one. All right. All right, this cap screw holding this leaf spring actually is your spring for your second stage. How much tension? You could have on it, you could adjust it by adjusting this leaf spring. Uh, underneath the leaf spring, there's a spring, so it keeps your setting. I put that to the side. Now, here is the adjustment screw. We need to put the o ring underneath it. To do that, you remove, you have, the shear has to be removed. To remove that, you have to pop out, push out. A little pin here holding the shear and the plastic bushing. We need that is a punch. Uh, the key point of this, you don't want to punch this uh, pin out all the way out. Just enough some enough to uh, pin or stick out and hold the last bushing all right you gently pop it out and you see it coming out you just gently now when a, when we push a pin far out enough the shear will pop out just a little bit so now it's clear the pin is not holding it in place anymore There you go, see it moving? And it popped up. Now you remove it. Make sure, if you're not familiar with this, you know, take a photo of it, make sure you know what position it goes in, but it's kind of real easy to, to figure out. Here's a sharp part of the shear, so now you know it faces down. Now you have to uh, grab this some, uh, plastic bushing because it's going to fall down let's get a needle nose grab it well, it's down here now it's got to fish it out it's a plastic bushing now we back out this adjustment screw Now here it is. It's within the O-ring we need to put in. I already disassembled this earlier and put this on a long time ago. See, when you back this out, this O-ring is no longer compressed. So this screw freely loosens up when it wants to. To minimize that, you gotta put the extra O-ring here. And you put it back in. Get about you know, six turns till you feel a compression on the O ring. And leave it at that. For now, till get a final adjustment later. Now you reassemble it. First thing is your shear. For this, you're going to need a, a guide. To hold this bushing in, this plastic bushing, 
you want to keep it in place before you drop the shear in because you have to align these three pieces before you punch in this guide pin to hold that holds them all that align them all uh, usually you get a needle nose or whatever feels comfortable for you to hold it in place oh sometimes can't get it right first time try again It gets tricky because it's so s freaking small. I I use this Allen wrench as a guide pin. Alright. Now you put the shear back in. Make sure it's facing the right direction. When you put it in, you have to put through a slot here on the trigger. And guide it between the two bushing. And you you gotta wiggle around. This Allen wrench, as acting as my guide pin, is keeping them all aligned. You could. There you go. That's how it's supposed to be. The trigger is in this, in this slot. Now we're going to drive the pin in. Then we get our hammer. Now you need another punch here to guide the rest of the pin in because the hammer will have a tendency to hit the side of your you know, breech and end up making some dings and scratches. So we're gonna a long punch. We're gonna punch the rest of the pin in. When I'm doing this, while this pin is going in, it'll gradually push the Allen wrench out. All right. There it goes. Now you push the pin in until it's flush to the breech. That's in. It's flush on this side. At this point, we're gonna put the leaf spring adjustment screw back in. Okay, as soon as you feel tension, the spring is acting like a spring against the shear, you do want to do a one full turn. We'll, we'll adjust that later. Also, I'm trying to keep it aligned so our Allen wrench will fit it through this hole and turn the adjustment screw for the second stage. Alright, to adjust the second stage, has the shear has to latch in when you cock it so you need to cock your rifle while you cock it the shear doesn't engage that means it, it needs to screw in you do a half a turn at a time or we'll do one then cock it and the gear it, the shear engages it holds in the spring back all right we're gonna we're gonna set it so it feels just right. Acting as a trigger, pull back on it. There, it released. Now I'll try again and see if it feels right. To me, it needs to be lighter. 
So you're gonna go counterclockwise, say a quarter turn. Cock it again. See? It's not catching. That's too much. So we'll go about another, let's say half an inch. Half a rev revolution. There you go. Now I'll test it again. I like them a hair trigger. I don't know about you, but I like them soft. Hair trigger. You're satisfied with your setting. We'll leave it at that because later on, after all the trigger assembly is put back together, you need to do more adjustment if necessary. Feels good for now. Here we go. We just added an O-ring on the second stage adjustment screw. Now it will no longer back out. Like if it didn't have an O-ring, it would. So I hope this helps. Stay tuned for further videos how to uh, fine tune your trigger.